Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Magic Shop area, the classic vintage bike shop area at BaxterCycle.com. Got all kinds of British hot rides over here, but that's not what we're here to look at today. This is what we're here to look at. This is a bike from my youth, or one like it anyway. Kawasaki 750 Triple, it's an H2, it says H2 right there. Absolute dream machine. This motorcycle is probably faster in my dreams than it actually is in real life, but it's really quite a bike. So it's a three cylinder. The pipes are off it right now. It's two stroke, uh, about a five gallon tank. There's an oil reservoir that uh, I think it mixes the oil automatically, sprays it in. It's got three Makunis, of course, little velocity start, or uh, these little pod filters, kickstart only. This one's got the dual disc brakes on the front. Looks like it's missing a caliper. They just got this in, so they're doing a little bit of work to it. A little steering dampener right there. Just a really neat machine. Look at that back end. This is all metal. Metal tail cone, side covers, fuel tank. We think it's been sitting for years. I mean, they, they uh, got it from a estate sale, I believe. But what a, what a machine, huh? So a little bit of info about it. 748 cc's, three cylinder, two stroke, about 75 horsepower, 57 foot pounds of torque, which surprised me. That's about 77 newton meters. Five speed transmission. Wheelbase is about 56 inches. It looks longer than that, but I'm sure that's what it is. That's about 1410 millimeters. Seat height, 31 and a half inches, 800 millimeters. Fuel tank is four and a half gallons, not five. That's about 17 liters. And wet weight would be 452 pounds, or 205 kilograms. Dry weight, dry weight. And that's, uh, you know, that's pretty darn good for a bike with, what did I say, 75 horse? It looks like it has loads of ground clearance. I'm thinking things are missing. Gorgeous little motorcycle. Um, I can't see up here to tell you more about the gauges, but check that out. Tachometer on the right looks like a 7,500 RPM red line. High beam light, turn signal light, neutral light, 22,000 on the odometer. Coming over here to the, uh, looking over here at the switch gear, probably the high lows, blinkers, I'm guessing the choke, kill switch. There is no start switch because it is a kickstart bike. Just a gorgeous thing, isn't it? For those, For those of you that have never seen one of these or have not had a good look at it, let's just kind of look her over. You know, the beautiful triple carbs there. These overhead air cooled, you know, no cams in something like this. Three expansion chambers, like I said, they're in the other room being painted. Shifter right there. These were known for blowing up second gear. Check out that rear end. Mechanical brake on the back. They were uh, kind of explosive. You turn the gas and they kind of like a dead spot, and then all of a sudden they just go crazy. And the bike would explode and uh, the frames were considered too thin they said they would tweak a little bit and uh, made them hard to ride handling wasn't the best i don't know what to say about the brakes you know they did have disc brakes in the front anyway this one has like i said dual um the one i had growing up or the friend of mine had growing up has single disc i think on the front just a real neat thing huh i'm guessing that's where a center stand was I'm not sure what all this is that is a lever of some sort. If you all know, let me know. Automatic shutoff for the fuel, maybe? Or maybe the mixture for the oil. I bet that's where the oil mixes. Let's go back over here to the other side. I know there's an oil pump in here. I'm not sure what that would have been. Anyway, nifty thing, nifty thing. Looks like vacuum from the... Uh, one of the carbs from the manifold side. Hey, even has rear pegs for those brave enough to try. Hook up for the pipes. I think it was two on this side and one on the other side. Like I said again, there's an oil mixing pump here for the two stroke oil. Clutch basket. They're missing a caliper. You can see where they just have one brake line running down here. Big old headlight, but look at the size of those blinkers. Looking like oranges, aren't they? Just large. I bet those are aftermarket grips. Hard as a rock. I like it. I like it. Check out that rear end with a cone. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, if you all are interested in something like this or maybe a vintage British bike or a newer used Royal Enfield or Triumph or something like that, get yourself over to BaxterCycle.com or get yourself over here to Marnie to the Baxter Cycle shop. Maybe you can get yourself a walk through here and check these things out. Now, if it's a nice day where you all are at, get yourselves out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!